Nuts are nutrient-dense foods rich in protein, fibre, minerals, tocopherols, phytosterols and phenolic compounds. Studies have associated nut consumption with a reduced incidence of coronary heart disease, gallstones, diabetes, hypertension, cancer, inflammation, have a cholesterol-lowering effect, beneficial effects on oxidative stress, vascular reactivity, visceral adiposity and metabolic syndrome. This fascinating study found that those who consume nuts two or more times per week had a 47% lower risk of sudden cardiac death. Nut consumption during adolescence was found to be associated with a lower risk of breast cancer later in life. In this study, women who ate one or more servings of nuts daily had a 24% reduced risk compared to those who ate less than one serving per month. In the Nurses Health Study, there was a 13% reduction in colorectal cancer risk and a 35% reduction in pancreatic cancer risk for women who ate at least two servings of nuts per week compared to those who rarely ate nuts. In previous videos, we've learned from Dr. Brooke Goldner that those with autoimmune diseases may need to temporarily avoid high omega-6 nuts and seeds and increase seeds high in omega-3 in order to aid recovery. And from Dr. Esselstyn that those with severe coronary heart disease may need to cut out most nuts and seeds for a time. However, for everyone else, are avoiding nuts and seeds a good idea? Well, let's hear now from Dr. Joel Furman on the power of consuming nuts and seeds. You know, you could ask me, what are the two most powerful findings in the scientific literature over the last decade that changed the thoughts about human nutrition upside down? And I'd say two things. Number one is that clearly now we have more than 30 different studies, and some of these studies are meta-analyses and huge studies that, have, that follow hundreds of thousands of people for decades and look at hard endpoints like deaths. So we have tremendous data today to show that diets that don't include nuts and seeds have increased risk for both cardiovascular and cancer death. So we're saying that the inclusion of nuts and seeds have a tremendous benefit. It's an amazing amount of corroboration from one study to the other, showing about a 40% reduced risk of cardiovascular death and about a 30% reduced risk of cancer deaths when people include the regular consumption of nuts and seeds. The overall effect is at this point, it's you can't defend a diet without nuts and seeds because these foods are so dramatically protective. And there's so many studies that prove this. We're learning about these protective phytochemicals that extend human lifespan, and we absorb 20 to 50 times as much of the phytochemicals in the same meal when you have a regular consumption of nuts and seeds. And, and the Adventist Health Study 2 further corroborated the evidence by measuring the different quintiles, five different quintiles of nut and seed and pick in different cohorts, men, women, young, old, Caucasian, blacks, vegan, non-vegan, near-vegans, and they found that the fifth quintile, people consuming over an ounce and a half a day, had the longest so even one ounce a day that used to show tremendous benefits is clearly not the ideal amount. And, and when people substitute that extra nuts and seeds for carbohydrates, it includes the glycemic index, obviously. It includes their penetration of protein, their absorption of nutrients, their exposure to calcium, and a host of other beneficial flavonoids, lignins, and other beneficial effects that have anti-inflammatory effects, immune-supporting effects, absorption of nutrients effects, and, and of course, lowering oxidation in the body. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.